campaign starts, and it will happen at any day, it could happen whenever. Yeah. Are you guys going to go? I mean, I, I'm already seeing with the Andrea Horwath ads. How negative is this? Are you prepared to go? <laughs> so I don't, I don't like negative uh, advertising. I really don't like it. And so what I've said to people is, we have to contrast. You know, we have to, we have to demonstrate how we're different from the Conservatives and from the NDP. But I, I am not interested in attacking human beings. You know, I'm not in, in, interested in attacking, in, in attacking a personality. Andrea Horvath and Tim Hudak are in this business for good reasons and for their own reasons. And so um, I, can, I can challenge their ideas or their lack of ideas, but I don't want to get into a personal attack. So the Andrea one, which said that, um, you know, too risky. For un too risky in these times. And that was right on that line of... I know. Yep. And that's, yep. So... Well, and that's, that's, the, that's the internal debate. If you want a you know, window on internal discussion, mm -hmm. what is that line? When does... Because every politician says they don't like it, but they all say that it ultimately works and they have to go there. Well, I, I, I know, you know, I've heard lots of politicians say that. I don't think vicious attack does work. I think that it turns people off. And I think one of the reasons that we have a large segment of the population, particularly young people, is that they hear uh, a lot of kind of prefabricated back and forth that is, is a, sort of um, a personal attack. And I'm, I'm not interested in that. But, you know, the fact is I see politics differently. I see our path forward differently than Tim Hudak and Andrea Horvath do. I'm concerned at some of the stuff that Tim Hudak's talking about because I think he's going to pick a fight with labor, with teachers. I think he's going to, he's going to, he's dangerous. I don't know what Andrea Horvath stands for. I think that she's been very unclear on some issues that I would have thought the NDP would have been clear on. Same, so, I've heard that about you too, though. People aren't really sure about f well, fully yet where you're at. Well, I, I mean, I think you just look at what I've said about making investments in infrastructure, making sure that we have a strong publicly funded education system, that we have a new vision for education. Like, I, I've been pretty clear about where I think we need to go. I've said I'm not going to cut and slash. I've said we need to make investments.